And I'm back. Camera just cut off. Do we do we even really need Meteor Titan anymore? No, we don't, because we don't have the Combulinator anymore. Uh, port a cannon. Ooh, that's a lot of money. Don't need that. Pulse rifle, crazy beam, steel pendant. Don't need that. <laughs> nope, we got 12. Oh, that's right. We, 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 yeah. Uh, mega nuke. Uh, stream shot rifle. Pliable lines. We really don't need that. We have the mayhem shotgun. Alright. Do 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 magic pudding. Oh boy. Hold up. Let's just get like a ten. There we go. One hundred PP. Good. Fuzzy frog. We have enough of those. Let's just dedicate the rest of horns of life. We could really use those. And now we go here. The magic snails inched into battle. You, well, yeah, our brand Ray has inched into battle too. Shoot! Insane, strange, and beamed. You're definitely dead. Yeah, there. Yeah, that sucks for you. Ooh, 460 XP. Nice. Enemy attack. Surprise the enemy. Ulrich swoop down. Alright, let's just... Yeah. Two, two... Oh my gosh, didn't even get a chance. Yay, red weed. Big Widow blocked the way. Oh my gosh. So disgusting. Such disgusting damage. Just died from insane damage. Noble Seed was in a present left behind. Ooh. It's in here. Oh, no one's there. Mom's eyes swoop down. The earthbound music. <laughs> Bye. Larice level 65. Dad's eyes swoop down. And now Dad's eyes are gone. <laughs> now you little 56. It says, I am the cat who swims in the ground. The house to the lower right has a secret. It can only be... I heard only a mysterious woman can open the door. But be sure to say before you open that door, just in case you wish to come back to us someday. Whatever that means, a frog told me. Wow. Yeah, in the first game, Groucho, if you just b defend, he'll greet everyone and then leave, and he'll give you more experience. But, uh, yeah, I don't care <laughs> if he does it in this game or not. It's not my place to care, unfortunately. Ooh. I don't know who Nayu is based off of, so yeah. Wait, I think that's Maria? I think that was Maria. Oh, snap. Watch her, mom's eyes, dad's eyes. Yeah, we don't, we're, we're not making time for you here. So get lost. 
Oh yeah, you're you're dead. Yeah. Strange and dumb and dead. <laughs> Yay, gone. Alright. Let's just go back where we came. Old Rich and his cohort attacked. Yay, well, Borendre initiates the battle, so yeah. The strong one died from insane. Congratulations, you're now no longer a nuisance. Wait. Freaking Maria. Shoot. <laughs> All right, it's pretty apparent I have to follow her wherever she goes. So uh, I'm just going to do that. Follow in the direction she's going. Where you get attacked. Hello, little teddy bear. Bye, Mr. Teddy Bear. <laughs> Yay. A <laughs> save frog. <laughs> the magic snails inched forward. Say that to Mr. Barandre, please. <laughs> Disgusting damage. So disgusting. Oh my gosh, just like in the first game. Ridiculous. What's the red weed the red weed do? Or the was it the green weed or something like that? Oh the magic herb. Gives full HP. Wow. Not bad at all. And dead. <laughs> All the rich swooped down. Okay, not yet. Okay, that enemy just randomly died. Alright, whatever. <laughs> Strange indeed. Unfortunately, I'll have to cut here in like 25 seconds. There you are. I don't feel like really fighting these enemies right now. Let's sort of run away. Yay! Okay, so if anyone liked this part, comment, like, favorite, subscribe, and I'll see all my fans later. You all take care now. 
Hey everybody, this is the Top 10 at Gamer Dude here. Welcome back to my blind let's play of Mother Cognitive Dissonance on hard mode. And then last episode, we were, you know, we got done with Alinovar's, um, Alinovar's, Colonel Sounds, Larissa's, and Zara Ball's Magic Hand. And now we're in Nayu's. So, yeah. Alright, she's going down. I'm just following this lady. Alright, these enemies are just dying. Does that mean we're, like, at a higher level than them? And they're just gonna... What is this? Earthbound Zero? Yeah, it looks like we're higher than them, so they're just dying. Hey, that's free money and EXP for us, so I'm not gonna complain. Is she down there? Yeah, I see her down there. Nice. A smart person will always consider all the evidence when trying to make up their mind. This room is this room lies within the magic hand, therefore nothing here is real. But magic hand lies within the individual mind of each person. True. So who has created this land and to what serve and says so who has created this land and to serve what purpose? And why would they hold up these signs within themselves, set up to tell in an outsider, outsider about a place that no one will ever see again? Therefore, I conclude one thing. I am completely insane. <laughs> oh my goodness. Wow. Talk about crazy. PK Harmony. A mysterious ability that causes multiple minds to resonate together. Wait, are they implying that's how I get, like, the most lot the most like good ending is that how we do that so i use pika harmony in the final battle or something okay do i go here yeah i do Freaking weird. We... No. I would like to go off screen and like grind for those greeners, but it's like, ugh, why would I do that? Alright, Borandre. Yeah, now Zarball can be like full support, and Larice will just be like the main damage dealer, and Gigu's door. Yeah, we're entering. Yes, we are. We're entering. Breaking and entering. Are you sure the meteors were tonight, George? Positive, dear. Oh, we get Baxter and Maria and George? Oh, I'm so psyched. Absolutely positive. Absolutely certifiably positive. It's a lovely night, at least. A beautiful night, darling. Oh, George, that's the same thing. Not quite. You see, lovely inspires emotions and not the mind. This beautiful, right? It touches both the mind and the heart. It says, George, hey, you heard that too, didn't you? Mar Maria, my dear, we should go. Let's investigate. Whatever it is, it could be dangerous. And it could be our help. I thought I was playing as him for a moment. I thought I heard it up here. It sounded like a hurt animal crying. Wait, I can play as them? Oh my gosh, I'm playing as George and Maria. Oh my gosh! This is some... This is some important backstory here. Yeah, I'm saving. Oh my gosh, we're... We're only humans. Rusty Revolver. Crying. <laughs> Okay, we have everything, so it's like... But we don't have Sing. Wait until the right moment to use this. But we... Ugh. George, I don't hear it anymore. I'm getting a little bit scared. What if a coyote got it or something? 
This doesn't feel right. It's too quiet for that. There it is. The mangy mutt approached. Iggy you. Question mark, question mark, question mark. Uh, charge. Shoot it. We <laughs> just hit it with a frying pan. Rip and tear. I hope we don't just die. Okay, give you attack. Yay! Alright. <laughs> just run up. Is it okay? Whatever it is. It doesn't look hurt. You're a brave little thing. Be careful. We don't know what that thing is capable of. George, it's shaking like a leaf. Don't worry, poor dear. I'll protect you. Come here, little critter. Can you understand me? See, it's harmless. But what is it? That doesn't look like somebody's cat. Look at the eyes. I couldn't say for sure. Maybe the boys at your office would know more about it. Right, right, they might. They're smart kids. It might have something to do with whatever's been going on in the mountains. You're going to be all right, little thing. We'll find out where you came from. We'll get you home as soon as we can. All right, Gigu's with us. Level three. Oh, my gosh. He was born ridiculously powerful. Title, UCD. Oh, Maria's carrying Gigu. That's, why is it getting darker? Later that night. Oh, gosh. Not the pain. Not the painful parts. Oh, Gigu's sleeping. He's so cute. He says, well, the critter's finally asleep. I thought for sure I would have to sing to it like a baby. Please don't get attached. It's not ours. It's not even a pet. We don't even know what it is. But, George, what if it doesn't belong to anyone? Maria. We could keep it here, George. We could give it a home. We don't know what it is, what it eats, or any way to communicate with it. Are you forgetting what it did to that dog? It was only defending itself, but it understood me. I could tell. Let's not talk about it now. It's late, and it's been quite a day. Off to bed? True. Off to bed, then. Oh my gosh, this is this is some juicy stuff right here. This is this is tying together the past what happened in Earthbound before Earthbound Zero, and then this game co Cognitive Dissonance is tying together what happened between Earthbound Zero and Earthbound the next morning. It's such a shame I have to cut it here in a little bit though. George, oh my gosh, I'm playing as Marin. He's not up there. I already looked. What do you have to say? George, guess he's not down there either. Oh, I'd better bring you along just in case. Did he understand what I said or just wanted to come along anyway? It is awake. Don't be frightened, human. Oh my gosh, we're in the... the it is awake. Who's there? George, was that you? Or Googie, was that you? Googie, where did that name come from? I'm not sure it's exactly right. Oh well, you're Googie to me now. Let's find George together, Googie dear. Oh my gosh, this is some... Ugh, I'm saving again. Yes. Yes! Ugh. They're watching. Oh my gosh, multiple... It's all this, it's all in some alien alphabet. They're watching it. This is Gigu's race. Oh my gosh, I'm so hyped. I'm so psyched. They're watching. It's all in some alien ancient language. They're watching. This enormous door is still shut. I'll, I'll cut it here.